you are going to have to excuse me for I am sick. So let's do this. Uh, there we go. Oh dear. Okay. Let's see. We are going to Jack's Island today because it is the island that I, or the area I spruced up. <coughs> As you can see, it uses the old tile set still. Uh, I didn't change anything about the tile set. I just pretty much got rid of all the crappy placeables and redid uh, everything. I, I kept the tent and, you know, all the original stuff that's there. I still don't know why that there's a giant mound here, uh, but I made it pretty <laughs> with lots of flowers. I'm assuming that's supposed to be a grave or something. I don't know if the character's dead, but, you know, I should add more fireflies. Uh, and I, I kept the, the NPC here. Though, I still feel like we should change the character model on it. Uh, I added the candles because I felt it made it look more mysterious. <coughs> oh god, I sound like death. Um, so there's that. There's not much I can do about this water. Uh, to be frank, I'm too lazy to just go through and add a bunch of shrubbery to the to the lake. This area is very, very large. It's like a 12 by 12 or something like that. It's it's giant and I, I never use an area this big. But it's, you know, it was requested to be kept, so. And honestly, I, I just didn't feel like going through and changing everything all at once. Uh, this is also, I think, before we got no, no, it's not. This is after Project Key Truth. I just kind of made my own giant special tree in the middle because it's a special island I guess whatever um and this is supposed to be in the more mountainous region so that is why I added the spruce trees of Brooks uh, I'm very loosely going off of the um, off of the old Beastlands. Uh, Rat said I didn't really need to follow the old Beastlands setup, but uh, honestly, I you know it gives me structure, so I'd rather keep some semblance of what the old Beastlands used to be. Uh, that would make a very pretty picture. I like it's in that to meadows. Hold on. Uh, here, I'll we'll take a screenshot of that. Sorry, Menos wants me to send screenshots for our hack page. Uh, there we go. There is one more for you. There you are. One, one second, recording new area. And, okay. <coughs> anyway, uh, see. Uh, I'm not sure that I've actually gone through and seen if I made any mistakes, but I was pretty, pretty thorough with this one area because there's so much stuff and I just didn't want to have to go back through and completely redo, <laughs> redo placeables. Uh, the area is just so large. It's so much work, especially for one person. I, I think I spent like a week and a half on this alone. Um, oh, that's another good screenshot. Just just gonna take one little one little. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. 
Um, oh, let's see here. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I probably should have done this before recording. Oh well. <coughs> Even if you're not all done with the. Oh. Oh no. Ugh. Yeah, this. The Beast Lands is like ridiculously large. I kid you not, there's like 40 or 50 areas or something like that. Actually, how much is it? It's. These, these are the only two new ones that I've added. That's, uh, I'm helping Brodsky out with that one, but let's see. Yeah, this is all old. This, except for Jack's Island. All of those areas are all old that I have to redo. It's like 30 or 40 areas. It's giant for one person. Um... But yeah, uh, this is Jack's Island. I think I might need to redo this tree. I don't know why, but the placeable makes the area like glow like this. I don't know if I should just leave it in for like DMs to do another dryad or nymph tree or something like that. But uh, <laughs> I actually added the Project Q bushes to that tree and made it look like a giant project q tree <coughs> i don't yeah it's it's glowing like that and i i was actually fiddling with the area lighting and like the lighting is just all black there there's no reason why it should be doing that it's just the place will it's the same thing with this large tree except this one's like glowing green for some reason and they're both labeled the same like they're labeled the same thing so I just I don't I don't get it. Oh well. Um so yeah. Uh there's that. <coughs> oh sorry. Uh yes, as you can see this area is quite large. It's very big. Uh, I think it took me like a week to redo this one. Uh all of the grass and all the stuff I put in by myself. Even in some parts feel a little bit unfinished, but I, honestly, it, it's supposed to be a secret area, so, you know, um, yeah. I, I doubt people are just going to stand around looking at, you know, very, very closely. It, it does its job. Uh, sorry, I'm really sick. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it. <coughs> oh, that bear animation is hilarious. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is the, uh, Jack's Island. And that's it. I don't know why these are called Caspers. But is that, like, an animal that I'm not aware of that lives in Brooks? I mean, I'm pretty sure I did a lot of research on it before I started. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, there's another tree that I just made from the thing. Yeah, you won't find that in the placeables. Anyway, um, yeah, so that is this area. Hope you're okay with it, Lost. Uh, I just went ahead and spruced it up so it looked like the rest of the areas because it looked very, very outdated before. Anyway, uh, have a good one.